Hello, how to solve this problem and find all the values of n that satisfies this equation? We have n times n times n, and this equals n plus n plus n. Now, we are going to start by multiplying this out. We have n times n times n, and this is n to the power of 3. And this equals n plus n plus n. This is 3n. Now, the second step will be for us to move this 3n across this equality sign. It will change to negative 3n because it's positive already, and we equate everything to 0. We have n power 3 minus 3n equals 0. Now, what we are going to do next will be for us to factor out n because there is n here, and there is also n here. So we factor out n. And we open our brackets. Now n power 3 divided by n will give you n power 2. Then we bring down the minus sign. 3n divided by n will give you 3. And this equals 0. Now we can actually have two different equations. So we have the first one, n equals 0. Or we have this other one here, n squared minus 3 equals 0. Now for this first one here, this is solved already. So this can be our first solution, that is n1 equals 0. Now we need to solve this quadratic equation to find the other values of n. It is quadratic because the power of n here is 2. Now for us to solve this quadratic equation, we can make use of this trick. Now if I have a, I can simply express it as root of a to the power of 2. Because this square root here simply means a power 1 over 2. If you have root of a is the same thing as a power 1 over 2, when you raise it to the power of 2, you can multiply this exponent using this identity, a power n or to the power of n equals a power n times n. So by multiplying this exponent, you are going to have a power 2 times 1, that is 2 over 2. So this will give you a power 1, which is the same thing as a. So a is the same thing as writing root of a raised to the power of 2. We are going to do the same thing here. Instead of writing this 3 here, we have minus 3, instead of writing this 3, we are going to replace it with root of 3 to the power of 2. So what we are going to have here is n power 2 minus, we have root of 3 raised to the power of 2, and this equals 0. Now, at this particular point, we have successfully have this exponent to be the same. This is power 2 and this is power 2. And what we have here is minus. Now, if you apply this difference of 2 squares technique, we have a power 2 minus b power 2. This equals a minus b times a plus b. So we are going to make use of this difference of 2 squares in order to expand this. So in this particular case, our a equals n and b equals root 3. So let's insert it right here in order to expand this. That means what we are going to have will be for a minus b, we are going to have n minus root 3 times. For a plus b, we are going to have n plus root 3. And this equals 0. So at this point, what we are going to do is to equate each of these brackets to 0. We have the first one, n minus root 3 equals 0. Or we also have this other one, n plus root 3 equals 0. Now, for us to solve this, we can just move this negative root 3 over here. It will change to positive root 3. So we can have our n2 equals positive root 3. This is another solution. Now for this other one here, we also move this positive root 3 over here. It will change to negative root 3, so we can have our n3 equals negative root 3. So we have three different solutions, negative root 3, positive root 3, and 0. Now the next thing we are going to do will be to check for each of these values if they are going to satisfy the equation. So you have n1 equals 0, n2 equals root 3, and we have n3 equals negative root 3. 
So what we are going to do is to record a problem. Remember, we are just going to have n times n times n equals n plus n plus n. So let's start with the first one, n equals 0. So for n equals 0, we are just going to substitute 0 for n. So what we are going to do is we have 0 times 0 times 0. Isn't the same thing as 0 plus 0 plus 0? Now from here, 0 times 0, that is 0. 0 times 0, again, that is 0. And this equals 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. So we have 0 equals 0. Now that has proven to be correct. Let's check for n2. So we have n2 equals root 3. That means n1 is correct. Let me take it. So we recopy the problem again. We have n times n times n equals n plus n plus n. So let's solve it to root 3 for n. So we have root 3 times root 3 times root 3 equals root 3 plus root 3 plus root 3. Now let's simplify this. Root 3 times root 3, that is root 9, times root 3 equals. Now the equation of root 3 here, this is 1. The equation here is 1. And the equation here is 1. So 1 root 3 plus 1 root 3, you are going to have 2 root 3. Because you add the equation, 1 plus 1, that is 2. And since you are dealing with root 3, you have 2 root 3 plus 1 root 3. So from here, you have root 9, that is 3. Square root of 9 is 3. So you have 3 times root 3 equals 2 plus 1. We add the equation again, that is 3. We have 3 root 3. Now, 3 times root 3, this is 3 root 3. And this equals 3 root 3. So that means this other solution here, is also correct. Now let's consider the third solution that is n3, which is negative root 3. So what we are going to do is we have n times n times n equals n plus n plus n. So let's substitute this negative root 3 for n. So what we are going to have is we have negative root 3 times negative root 3 times negative root 3 is it the same thing as negative root 3 plus negative root 3 plus negative root 3 so what we are going to do will be let's multiply this out negative times negative that is positive root 3 times root 3 that is positive root 9 times negative root 3 is it the same thing as remember this the equation here is negative 1 the equation here is negative 1, the equation here is negative 1. Negative 1 root 3 plus minus negative 1 root 3. Plus times minus is minus, so negative 1 root 3 minus 1 root 3 will give you negative 2 root 3. You add negative 1 to negative 1, that is negative 2. Since you are dealing with root 3, you have negative 2 root 3. Then plus times minus is minus, so you have minus 1 root 3. So this is root 9, root 9 is 3, so we have 3 times negative root 3 the same thing as negative 2 root 3 minus 1 root 3 negative 2 minus 1 that is negative 3 root 3 so 3 times negative 1 this is negative 1 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 so you have negative 3 root 3 equals negative 3 root 3 now since the both parts are the same that means the third solution is also correct so we have satisfied all the three solutions, and that is it. This means the three solutions are obviously very correct. So that is the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.